Happy Sunday and happy feast of the baptism of the Lord. Our gospel today comes from the gospel of St. Mark. This is what John the Baptist proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, my friends, as we celebrate the baptism of the Lord today, I think it gives us an opportunity to celebrate in the fact that you and I have received the sacrament of baptism as well. And what a tremendous thing that is to be welcomed into God's family, to be his adopted sons and daughters. What an incredible blessing. And I think that one of the things that we are very fond of in recalling our baptism is it reminds us that we have certain rights because you and I have been baptized into the family of Almighty God. You and I are worthy of dignity, of love, of respect because you and I have been made in the image and likeness of God you and I have become part of his family. And because of that, we're worthy of those things. And those are rights that we should always claim, that we should always defend. We should not keep people in our lives who don't love us, who don't respect us, who don't find us worthy of their time. Now, of course, the thing that perhaps we aren't as good at is by being part of God's family, we absolutely have certain rights, but we also have certain responsibilities, namely to go and make disciples of all nations, to make sure that the entire human race, which is also made in the image and likeness of God, knows that they too are worthy of love, of dignity, of respect, that they hear the saving message of Jesus Christ so that they too might live the vocation that God has handed on to them, that they might make their way to the greatness that you and I are called to, namely, eternal life. So, my friends, as we celebrate the baptism of the Lord, let us also take a moment to thank God for the gift of our own baptism and ask that he would help us to not only relish those rights that we have, that we might also fulfill that responsibility we have to make disciples of all nations, to make sure that the whole world knows that they are worthy of love, dignity, and respect, and help them to hear the saving message of Jesus Christ. God bless.